So in delivering knee strikes or just any type of situation where we are in really close, we want to be able to take control of the situation as much as possible. So if the person is coming in trying to grab you or anything, then we will move into some clinch techniques that will give you the upper hand in these situations. The first one that we are going to cover is the tie clinch. Now the tie clinch from this position is really just controlling a person's head and neck. So from here, she would reach up and grab now, in this position, she has her forearms on my neck and her hands stacked on the back of my head. She's going to take her elbows, try to pinch them together, and then she's going to pull me down. So now, this position, this is going to make it hard for me to look up and try to get out of it. From here, she can knee, she could stomp, she could kick me in the shin, she could do all kinds of things along those lines. Now. The thing about keeping the tie clinch is she wants to move. She doesn't want to stay still. So if she's here, she can turn, she can pivot, and it will pull me around. Because otherwise, if she's not, then eventually I might can work my way out if she is standing still for too long. So again, once we're here, I'm going to turn this way this time. So she comes here. Grabs around the back of my neck, see the hands on the back of my neck here, and now she pinches in and pulls my head in. This is going to give me, uh, it's made it a lot harder for me to deal with or try to get out of it. When practicing the tie clinch with a partner, making sure that your elbows come together, your forearms try to pinch in on the neck, and the hands are on the back of the head. Also, when whipping the person around, make sure you do that slowly uh, because it, it can be fairly painful. So just go ahead and practice it through, work it through with your partner, and work on that controlling the situation as much as you can. And again, like everything else, we just want to ramp up the aggression slowly.